Well guys, the public account is right around an all time high. Here today it hit $878,000. Now in the profit, $460,000. I could take in that account just in stocks we hold, never mind past profits taken in there. A lot of people are asking, when is that account gonna hit a million? And that's not even like my worry at all, okay? That account will probably hit a million at some point in 2021. I mean, it could hit it this year, but we're gonna need the market to continue to roar. So I'm planning on 2021 for that account to hit a million. What I'm focused on is when is that account gonna hit eight million plus? And that's what we'll get into in this video here today. When is this account gonna hit eight million plus? That's my big focus on this account. How do we 10 exit from here? And you must have a plan, okay? If you have big goals like this, you wanna turn you know, an 800,000 something dollar account into an $8 million account, or let's say you have an $8,000 account, you wanna turn that into an $80,000 account, like how do you do that? And this is my plan to achieve this because you must put a plan in place if you want to achieve something big. Way back in the day when I was working at Walgreens making like a little above minimum wage, I put a plan in place. I said, I got to go get a better job. I got to live super frugally. I got to invest as much money as I possibly can. And I got to spend as much time as possible looking into stocks so I can hopefully reach my goals down the road and I can get on to bigger and better things. And that's the exact plan I put in place. And I executed it to a T. Then we fast forward five years later, 2014, I put a plan in place that I want to move to Nevada. Taxes are pretty much non-existent in Nevada, at least in terms of state income taxes, no state income taxes. So I'm like, I want to move out to Vegas and pay no state income taxes. So I don't keep having my money taken more and more and more by state governments. Okay. So I'm going to go start a business out there because I, I understood like at quick trip, my earnings potential was limited. And that's like that at all big corporations is like you, you hopefully wait years and years for a promotion. Then you get that promotion and maybe you make an extra 5k 10k a year or something like that so my earnings potential very limited versus starting a business you literally have unlimited potential for earnings right and then like i said i could even focus on stocks more and more serious than ever before quick trip i was working like 48 to 50 something hours a week pretty much week in and week out so i mean and it was uh, you know a pretty draining job in terms of always being on your feet running around making sure the store is perfect all the time managing employees all those different things and so i'm like man I if I could get some more time back, that would be huge. And if I could increase my earnings potential by starting a business, I could go ahead and do that. So that's obviously what I did. Came out to Vegas, moved out to Vegas. In 2015, started a business, all those sorts of things, okay? So now I'm thinking, okay, what's our plan we're gonna put in place to grow this account to $8 million plus as fast as possible? And in terms of fast as possible, you gotta think about risk reward, right? I could stick all 800 something thousand dollars into a bunch of call options on stocks, I believe, or something like that. Yeah, you know, uh, that could be great if everything works out and I could maybe grow to the sky and, and grow to eight mil real fast, right? But also I could grow, I could go to zero, like literally, like if call option contracts expire worthless and you're holding them, like you're gonna lose all your money, right? So I have to think about risk reward in this whole scenario. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you don't mind, smash a thumbs up. I hope you guys definitely get value from this and kind of hear about my plan, how to actually execute something like this. So then you can look at your portfolio and say, okay, I'm trying to get to this level over the next five, 10 years. How do I go ahead and do it. And also, if you ever want to, you know, message me on IG, I try to get in there at least once or twice a week. And if you want to kind of, you know, show me your plans or tell me a little bit about how you're planning to grow your account, always feel free to do that. Okay. So in terms of public account, where I like to start is I'm like, what returns have we been getting recently? And what's a realistic return for us kind of on a long-term basis? Because this is so important. All that matters in, in terms of stock market accounts, how much money can you put into your stock market account, let's say each month, right? And what type of return can you get? This is the, this is it. Okay, that's the whole like deal when it comes to individual stocks. Okay, and then it's just about picking the best individual stocks possible, right? So we made over 20k today in the public account. That's not always realistic. Obviously, it's a, it was definitely a good day in that account today. 116% one year rate of return calculated by Fidelity Investments for the public account. And last year we had a 91% rate of return for the public account pre-tax, okay? So absolutely amazing returns the past two years. If we go ahead and divide that out, okay? We go ahead and take those two numbers, divide it out by two years, right? 103% rate of return over the past, let's say two years or so, okay? Now, that is a ridiculous return. It's not always gonna be possible, okay? How ridiculous 
calculus is it? I tried to use investor.gov compounding calculator essentially, and I couldn't even put in 103% interest rate essentially, or like a, a return you get each year, okay? You literally, it, it tops out 100%, okay? So what I had to do is I had to put 99.9%, .9%, okay? This is definitely not a return that is always gonna be possible in my personal opinion. Just because it's happened over the last two years does not mean I'll be able to execute on that over the next five, 10 years. I understand that. Let's play around with some numbers just for the fun of it, okay? The 878K that's in that account right now, say we put in $10,000 a month, which is definitely something that is possible for me to put in 10K a month, you know, over the coming years into that account, okay? At a 99.9% .9 estimated rate of return, three years we would hit about $8 million. Like three years at that rate of return. Obviously, not something I think is super realistic. That would be insane. Three, three years and we're almost at $8 million already. Look at this. In four years, look at how much things change. In four years, all of a sudden you're at almost $16 million. I mean, goodness, if I could somehow keep up these type of returns over the next five, 10 years, I mean, I'm gonna, it's, it would be just crazy. Completely unrealistic, but it would be crazy. Look at this, guys. 10 years. All I put out was for 10 years, okay? So I'm age 40, right? Look at this. If I got a 99.9% .9 return each year, over a billion dollars, okay? Billionaire status just from the public account alone. Oh my goodness, okay? That would be absolutely wild, but like I said, that's not always realistic. It's not always possible to get 116% in the past year. It's not always possible to get 91% last year. And, and you know, in my opinion, it's not gonna always be possible for me to get those type of returns. I believe I can realistically get in the public account over let's say the next five, 10 years or so, I think I can get 30% per year on average. Keep in mind, if I had a garbage year next year, let's say my return was super negative next year, I would still be up way more than 30 percent per year on average okay I'm just looking at it from this angle of like what do I think is realistic I think for me 30 percent per year for the next five ten years is very realistic for me in the public account why do I believe this what well, one low interest rates interest rates are super super low they will continue to be super super low why is this important because money is going to continue to be forced into the stock market essentially it's just going to be what happens essentially because there's no competition the only competition for stocks is real estate right and people are still really fear fear full of like a real estate bubble because what you know basically happened 2007 through 2010 right a lot of people are still scared about that so the only competition is real estate investing and that's it that the savings account is not an enemy of the stock market simply because if you put your money in a savings account you make nothing on it and your dollars are being devalued every single day that goes by so which means you're literally forced if you have a brain, you're literally forced to put your money in the stock market if you don't want your money to be de devalued over time. Doesn't mean you have to buy individual stocks like me and research them. You just put your money in uh, S&P and 500 index fund, okay? I mean, you're just, it's not even close. They're not even competition because interest rates are so incredibly low and they will stay incredibly low for a good amount of time. The Fed's talking about maybe even potentially keeping them down there for like five years, okay? So that's one reason I think I'll be able to get a 30% return on average. Faster growth than ever for a lot of these stocks. I mean, a lot of these companies are growing at, at rates you just didn't think was possible if you go back 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. I mean, a lot of these, you know, e-commerce companies, cloud companies, video conference companies, I mean, just so many different industries and sectors are so gro growing so incredibly fast compared to what historical companies grew at because of the online age and because of artificial intelligence and a lot of what is going on. So there's just faster growth than ever. And these companies can keep this fast growth up for decades and decades. That's what's amazing. I mean, look at Amazon's growth for the last basically, what, 25 years? I mean, it's off the charts. It's still a growth beast to this day. Uh, you know, decades later, over two decades since Amazon came out, right? And this company is still a massive growth beast, even with a well over a trillion dollar market cap. Absolutely incredible, okay? And lastly, I believe I'll be able to get a 30% rate of return on average per year because I'm just better at investing in stocks than I've ever been. You just, you, like everything you learn is cumulative. That's the best way Warren Buffett put it uh, many, many years ago. It's like what you learn in your first five years is crazy. Then you learn a bunch more your next five years, your next five years, and you just get better and better and better at what you do. Unless you eventually age out of the market, you get too old and you just can't like keep up with the new companies and get your mind around them and things like that. But as far as me, like as far as an investor, 
I'm not even reaching my prime yet. That's the craziest thing. Like I've been doing this for 12 years now. I'm not even in my prime yet. My prime's really gonna come, I think like 2025 through like 2045 if I'm blessed enough to you know, live that long and things like that. That's really when my investor prime will be. I'm not even in that yet, but I've been in the market for 12 years. And I'm just at a much higher level than I've ever been. Like me versus 2010 me, it's not, you can't even compare the two, okay? And in terms of the crazy returns, the 90%, 100 plus percent rate of returns, you never know, okay? Uh, I won't completely rule it out. For this video, we're gonna rule it out, but then again, I didn't ever think I could grow two YouTube channels like the way we've grown them in the stock market space. Like that's absolutely crazy. So I have surprised myself before, but here's what I would need. I would need five straight years of 90% plus rate of returns in the public account and for me to even consider like, oh, maybe I can start doing this on the regular. I need five years plus. Two years is not gonna cut it for me to say I can get 90% per year. You know, I'm very confident with the 30%, but yeah, not 90% plus, all right? All right, guys, so let's start working out this, all right? So 878,000, 10,000 a month I put into the account. In three years time, assuming I get a 30% on average return, I'll be at about $2.4 million in three years in the public account. I think that is pretty realistic. I think two to three mil in that account in three years, definitely possible, okay? Let's look at four years from now. So we're keeping everything the same exact four years out. Now we're at $3.2 million. Keep in mind that's $800,000 of growth, okay? Very, very important. Let's go ahead and look at five years out. So five years out essentially, we're at $4.345 million in the public account five years out. And what you're gonna notice here, the bigger the numbers are, the bigger the growth, okay? This is very key. Remember, we just went from 3.2 mil to 4.3 mil in a matter of a year. Getting, you know, basically everything's the same exact. The monthly contribution, the estimated rate of return, everything's the same. All we did was a year into the future and we're, we're, we basically gained over a million dollars. This is what's very, very important. This is why getting the snowball rolling in the right way over your first five years of investing is so dang key. Because if you can just get the ball rolling that first five years and get on the right track, like you're gonna set yourself up very nicely. And here I am 12 years into it, and you know, the, the numbers are starting to get really, really large as we continue these gains to come in. Remember, the public account is just one of seven stock accounts I have. So as I continue to build out these accounts bigger and bigger, the, the law of large numbers like uh, really like benefits you in a major, major way actually when it comes to investing. Up until you get to a point where you, let's say you had hundreds of billions of dollars or something like that, that would, that would actually negatively affect you because you could only put in such small amounts of money essentially into a lot of these companies without moving their stocks really big. So at some point it matters, but as far as like going from like uh, basically 100,000 to all the way up to like a billion dollars or so, man, as you get the numbers bigger and bigger, it just works in your favor more and more and more and more. And we're gonna see that in these numbers here, okay? Look at this, from year five to year six, all of a sudden now we're at over $5.7 million in the public count, okay? $1.4 million of growth year over year. That's incredible with just the same exact return, the same exact monthly contribution, okay? This, I mean, look at that. This is why once you, especially once you get over a million, man, the numbers begin to get really, really powerful in a stock market account. It's all about getting to that first 100K. Then from getting to that 100K, it's all about getting over a million. That's why I give out awards to everybody in my private group. Basically, anytime you hit 100,000 in your account, you can send us screenshots of it. We send you an award, and then the same thing, a million dollars. We send you this award right here when you hit a million dollars, because this is so big. Like, once you hit 100,000, it gets so much easier to grow. And once you hit a million, man, I don't wanna say you know, you're at the finish line, but now you know, your job as an investor just gets to become really, really fun. Let's just put it that way, okay? Let's look at this here. Now we're into year seven, and now we're at $7.6 million. So now we're getting very close to that $8 million plus dollar number. Look at that, $1.9 million of growth year over year. You made almost two mil in your stock market account in just that that course of a 12 month span. Absolutely extraordinary, right? And then look at this. Year eight, essentially now we're way over $8 million in the public account. And that's $2.4 million of growth year over year with the same exact return and the same exact monthly contribution each month. Absolutely 
extraordinary. That's the best way to put it, man. When the numbers get bigger and bigger, things start really, really working in your advantage. That's why it is so key to get that first 100K and that first million in the market, okay? Now, taxes complicate this, you know, just like rate of return can complicate it. It's like, what if you get a 20% return? What if you get a 90% return? What if you get this return, that return? That can complicate things. Taxes absolutely complicate things. Because then it's like, well, did you sell for short-term gains? Did you sell for long-term gains? Did tax rates go up? Did they go down? Did you get new write-offs? Things like that. Like that can definitely complicate things. But needless to say, if I can get a 30% return on average in the public account over the, let's say the next 10 years, within the next 10 years, there's no doubt, even with the whole tax situation and whatnot, we should absolutely be able to hit $8 million plus dollars in that particular account. So that that's basically what we're looking at. In the next decade, at some point, we'll hit me eight million plus dollars in the public account. Now let's do something really, really fun. Remember I talked to you guys about you know time, uh, how much you can put in, then what type of rate of return you can get. Let's say I'm able to achieve that for the next 25 years. So Jeremy, age 55, where's a public account at? Assuming I just keep building and building and building and doing exactly the same thing. $10,000 monthly contribution each and every month and that 30% rate of return. $901 million is where the public account could be in 25 years if we can keep up that rate of return and just put in 10K each and every month. Now obviously if I put in more money than that, the numbers will grow a lot faster. And obviously if I get a better rate of return, the account will grow even at a much faster rate. At the same time, if I don't put any money into that account or I get a way less of a return than that, that can hurt the numbers as well. But look at that, in 25 years, $901 million. I could tell you, man, guys, you know, w w let me know. I live in Las Vegas. You guys know. You think I should throw like a big subscriber party? Like when that account hits like 8 million, maybe we'll have a big party in Vegas. 8 million subscriber party. Let me know in that comment section, guys. If you don't mind, smash the thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, put a plan in place that you think is realistic for you to get to where you're trying to get to in the stock market over the next five years. It is so dang key. Also, if you guys want to check out a video, I record it for you down in the description area, how to make your first $100,000 in the market. Go ahead and check out that. That is in the description down there. It's absolutely free to check that out definitely some value in that video and if you didn't get to see the most recent videos on the channel maybe check them out three stocks i'm buying october edition and also this stock is about 2x fast epic short squeeze coming so if you didn't get to check out those videos maybe go ahead and take a look at them if you want hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and have a great day holy smokers this eight million ain't no jokers